What's up guys, how you all doing? I'm Paul the Tech Giant and welcome back to another video where today I'm gonna to be telling you what I believe are the best things about this 65 inch Hisense A7G. Now I just wanna say a big thanks to the guys at box.co.uk who were kind enough to send over this Hisense TV for me to test out. So if you are looking to purchase a new TV for yourself, then please go and check out their link in the description where you can pick this TV up currently at an absolute bargain price of just under £650. But they have got loads of great deals on at the moment because they are clearing out the old stock to make way for the new. So please go check them out. Right, let's crack on then. And the first best thing about this TV is the picture quality so yeah just take a look at it for a sub 650 pound tv at time of recording this i think is a cracking picture now we are used to testing out tvs you know that range into the thousands of pounds but even mrs tech giant was really impressed with how great the picture quality really is. And uh, yeah, I can honestly say that if I only had 650 pounds to spend, then I would be more than happy with the quality of the picture. Now sticking with the picture quality and the next best thing about this TV is the colors, because this is in fact a QLED TV. So we do get very nice, vibrant colors. It doesn't look washed out at all. As you can see, nice and punchy. And I think that's what a lot of people really want from a TV. You know, some people want sort of more reference level uh, images, but for me, they look a bit sort of flat and boring. And I think the general public want really nice, uh, bright, popping colors. And this TV certainly uh, gives you that. Next up on the best things about this TV is the snappy user interface. So as we can see, scrolling through all the menus and stuff is just a breeze. Now other TVs that I've had in the past will really sort of lag and hang, but no, not this to be fair. For uh, a TV of this price bracket, I was genuinely shocked at just how snappy it really is. As you can see, you know, it's not lagging or hanging. It just does what you want it to do. And uh, that's what you want out of a TV. So that is the next best thing about this TV. Next up on the best things about this TV is the viewing angles. Now, don't get me wrong. Once again, I have seen better, but we are talking about much more expensive TVs than this. So we have got a sofa set off to the side there. And if I sit down just over here, you will see that it does a fairly decent job of maintaining the color and brightness. Now it does lose it a little bit, but again, that's to be expected at this sort of price bracket. And, you know, I go far as saying that, you know, it outperforms um, my expectations of what it would be like when it comes to the viewing angles at this price bracket. So uh, that is the next best thing about this TV. Next up on the best things about this TV is the remote control. Now, you may be surprised to hear this because uh, when I'd done my initial unboxing of the TV, I did knock this remote control a bit because uh, I said it's a bit of a chunky monkey, which obviously it still is. But what I do like about it is the real good array of shortcuts. Uh, as you can see, some real top tier ones just there. But what's even better than that are these lovely, big, fat, chunky buttons. So uh, yeah, it's a pleasure to use. Now, whilst it isn't backlit, it's just real nice that, you know, they are easy to find, easy to press. So if maybe you've got like a, not the best of vision or limited mobility with your hands, then, you know, this could be a really good remote to use. So uh, yeah, that is the next best thing about this TV. So moving on then, and the next best thing about this TV is, just how light it is. Now, obviously it's hard to show on camera just how light this TV is, but if you go and watch our unboxing, you will see just how uh, surprised me and Mrs. Tech Giant were when we lifted this TV up, because 
It is quite a thick TV and uh, we was expecting it to be quite heavy, but no, it's very lightweight. So uh, again, maybe you've not got a lot of strength or maybe you uh, have got to lift it on your own. It's uh, not too heavy, so it's easily moved around. So that is the next best thing about this TV. Moving on then, and the next best thing about this TV is that it does support Dolby Vision. Now, even more expensive TVs don't necessarily support it. And another great thing about it supporting Dolby Vision is that it actually tells you when it's playing Dolby Vision content. So if I was to fire up, say, this Squid Game, you will see at the top right-hand corner, it says Dolby Atmos, Dolby Vision. So you know exactly what you are watching. Moving along now then, and the next best thing is for you gamers out there. So if we go to the settings and to picture, you will see that we do have a dedicated game mode, auto low latency mode, and this TV does support VRR. So if you are into your gaming, that is great news. Now, whilst we're on the subject of settings, that is the next best thing. The fact that this TV has so many of them. So let's just go down to accessibility and uh, let's make it a little bit easier to see these settings. So I'm gonna go to menu transparency and I'm gonna turn that off. So I've just made it all solid now. So uh, that's great straight away. And if we go down to system, you can see just the amount of options that we do have here. So if we go to advanced settings, we can change things like the name of the TV. We can change if we want the power indicator, which is just down there to stay on or not, because you may not want it sort of uh, blaring out all the time. You've got a screensaver mode there. You can change how long you want that to, uh, uh, how long before it kicks in. Um, we can change the name of the input labels there as well. So rename those HDMIs, enhanced viewing modes there. So uh, absolutely loads of stuff, even down to the fact that if we go to the sound mode just there, down to speakers, and um, we can see that, oh no, wrong one, let me back out of it, sorry. Sound mode settings, that's the one. And we can even say if the TV is wall mounted or not. So yeah, really, really in-depth settings. And again, quite surprised uh, just how many there are at this price point. Right, let's wrap this up now. And the final best thing about this TV is that it does have a removable power cable. So if we just move around to the side, you will see just there that this power cable is easily removed. So if you wanna put a longer one in, you just simply unplug it and plug in a longer one. And there you have it then guys. Now do us a favor and if you do appreciate this video today and my honesty, spend me a second of your time to give me a thumbs up. And if you've not already subscribed, then please consider doing so for more videos like this in the future. So thanks very much for joining me today and hopefully I'll catch you guys on next one. Bye for now.